Hi, I'm Rachel from Jimmy Bean Tool, and today I'm going to show you all the techniques required to do block seven of the Cascade Yarns Nidorati Gradient Lapkin. So here we have block seven of the Cascade Yarns Nidorati Gradient Lapkin, and you can see this is a really cool block. It's got a lot of texture on it. These little guys here are called noops, which are basically like a smaller bobble. And then we have a mock cable going down here through the center and on the two sides. Um, and then some neat, like slightly lacy detail creating this um, kind of like triangular shaped texture here. So really cool square. We got a couple new techniques I'm gonna show you guys. So I'll get my little swatch out here and get started with those. So let me just get to a good spot here and you guys can see the first of the stitches. So there's a lot of decreases um, in, this, in this piece, so I'm gonna start with those. The first one, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, is just your basic knit two together. So insert your right needle into the two stitches on your left needle, wrap that yarn, or wrap that needle as if to knit, and then knit those two stitches together, just like that. So the next decrease I'm gonna show you is basically a variety of the knit two together, and it's called a knit three together. So you're doing the exact same thing that I just did with the two stitches, but this time you're gonna um, put your right needle into three stitches. That's a little bit tight, so you kinda gotta kind of work your needle in there, especially if you're a tight knitter, you might find that it's kinda hard to get your needle in there, but just as long as you get, um, get it in just a little bit, then you can knit those three together and then pull them right off of the, the needles like that. I'll show you that one one more time because that one is a, a bit of a new stitch there. So insert your right needle into the next three stitches on the left needle and then knit all three of them together. Okay, so the other types of decreases we have are in the slip slip knit family. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the basic slip, slip, and then knit two stitches together. Whoops. Got my needle caught up in there. Okay. So you knit, you slip two stitches knit wise and then knit those two together. Um, now the variation on that for this pattern is slipping three stitches and then knitting them together. So you go slip one, two, and three. And then put your needle back through those three stitches on the right needle and then uh, knit them together. So that's your, it's a double decrease and it makes the stitch lie in the same direction that the slip slip knit does. So that's why you would do that. Okay, so then we just have one type of increase in this piece. It's a yarn over. So I'll show that really quick. You just yarn around the needle from the back to the front. And then once you knit that next stitch, you can really see how it creates that hole right there. And that's that. So that's all the um, basic stitches from this piece. And now we've got a couple of slightly more complicated ones. I'm gonna show you how to do the mock cable first. It's a mock cable that you do over three stitches. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your right needle and grab the third stitch on the left needle. And then you're gonna um, insert it purlwise and then pull that stitch over the top of the two stitches that are in front of it on the left needle and drop it right off the needle. So what you did there is you basically wrapped that third stitch around the two stitches on the needles and dropped it off. So now you've decreased the stitch there, you need to bring a stitch back. Um, so when you work the next two stitches, you're gonna knit one, yarn over in between, and then knit another stitch. So you can see we've got a little tiny hole right there, which creates that mock cable that I'm talking about. This little line of the stitch that you've passed over the two um, kind of slants in the one direction and then you put that yarn over in between them and you get a slightly um, cable uh, looking, looking stitch there. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do is what's called the noop. And then a noop is basically a two-step process. You increase on one row to create a whole bunch of extra little stitches. And then on the next row, you're gonna decrease. So I'll show you how we're gonna do that. This is a seven stitch noop. Um, and this can be really tough if you are a tight knitter. So really try your best to keep your stitches as loose as possible. It'll make this so, so much easier on your hands. 
Um, okay, so insert your right needle into the stitch and then you're going to wrap it as if to knit. And then when you pull that stitch through, don't pull it off the needles. You're gonna take your yarn and yarn over around the needle, just like that. And then once again, don't pull this stitch off the left needle, leave it on there and insert it back into that same exact stitch the one you just knit and then knit it again. Leave that stitch on there. This is seven stitches, so remember, um, we've got to have seven loops on here before you're really done with this stitch. Um, but then wrap it again, insert that needle back into the same stitch again, knit it, yarn over around the needle. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six loops. So we've done all the yarn overs that we need to do, but you've got to finish this off. So you're going to insert the right needle one more time, knit it, and then you can finally pull that stitch off. You can see this looks super crazy when you look at it on the needle. It's like this crowded bunch of loops here and there should be seven of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. All of them coming out of this one stitch right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and knit and turn my work and then I'll show you how we handle it when we get to the wrong side. So you turn and then work your way over to where the, the seven stitches are. So that first part was called basically the noop. You're, you're forming the, loop, the noop. Now, on the back side, it's basically just a purl seven together. And this is where keeping it loose is, is really, really key. In fact, I don't really think I kept mine loose enough, so you're gonna see me struggle here a little bit. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you're gonna take your working yarn and make sure it's in the front because you're purling. You're on, you're on a wrong side row, so you should be set to purl already. And then take your right needle, insert it into all seven of those stitches. And you can see I'm already struggling a little bit. Um, bringing it close to the edge of the needle is actually a really good idea. Okay. Okay, got them all on there. That was kind of a kind of a tough one. So once you get all, oh no, I did miss some. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, now they're all on there. I barely got my right needle through. I've got just a little bit sticking out, but I'm gonna, I'm bracing it on my left hand. I'm gonna wrap this around and then I'm purling all seven of these stitches together. Okay, kind of got a little messed up there. That's okay, you're gonna have to just sort of move that around and I've actually heard that crochet hooks are really helpful because you can really grab that stitch and pull it through right there. So if you're really struggling to get it to work, you might try doing um, the crochet hook method. Okay, so let me flip this around to the right side so you can see there's our little noop right there. And um, that's all those stitches that you created by doing the yarn overs into the same stitch. Those are all the stitches required in order to do this square. Thanks so much for knitting along with me. Be sure and check back in three weeks for block eight of the Cascade Yards Knitterati Gradient Lapkin. And also if you like this video, check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials just like it.